gentlemen, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne video, Stylus Mustache here and today I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas, I hope you're having a great day with your families, but today I have a special build for you guys, the Ultimate Zero Sum Discharge Switch Axe build. So basically this build right here was designed to achieve the highest damage possible without making the build unbalanced and just to give an idea this build right here is capable of hitting over 2000 damage per Zero Sum Discharge even without Agitator 5 active. So now let's jump straight into the build. So for this build right here you can actually use any of the new Sephi Jiva Switch Axes. In this case we're using the Dragon version which is the Sephi's Drake Axe. So now let's take a look at its stats. So the Sephi's Drake Axe comes with a throw attack of 945 with 40 hits of white sharpness, 5 percent affinity, 180 dragon element and average elder seal. It also has one level 4 gel slot and a power file type. Now for the awakened abilities for this weapon we're gonna be using all attack increase 5 and 6 so we can have a total base attack of 1155. Now for the augments for this build we're gonna be using one attack increase and one health regen one which is going to be enough to keep your health full. Now for the armor pieces we're using the golden headdress beta, the buff chest alpha, the ruinous one braces beta, the ruinous coil beta, the garuga greaves beta, and the attack charm 4. Now with all these pieces and skills together, we've managed to get a throw attack of 1281 with 40 hits of white sharpness, 80% affinity for hitting weak spots, 100% affinity for hitting wounded parts of the monster, 180 dragon element and average elder seal. So now let me show you guys all the skills that you have together in this setup right here. So here we have Hasten Recovery, Attack Boost level 7, Critical Eye level 7, Agitator level 5, Health Boost level 3, Critical Boost level 3, Weakness Exploit level 3, Power Prolonger level 3, Divine Blast level 3, Earplugs level 1, and Fortify level 1. So now let me show you guys all the decorations that we're using in this setup right here. So here we have 1 Tenderizer slash Vitality Jewel 4, 2 Enhancer slash Vitality Jewel 4, 5 Expert Jewel 1, 1 Enhancer slash Protection Jewel 4, 1 Protection Jewel 1, one Krikal slash protection jewel 4 and two Krikal jewels 2. So now talking about jewels, a better option instead of divine blessing for this build right here would be recovery up. By the way, I don't have the Krikal slash medicine jewel 4 yet, but if you do and if you want to have recovery up level 3 in this build, all you have to do is trade this jewel right here for a Krikal slash medicine jewel 4, this jewel right here for a medicine jewel 1, and this jewel right here for an enhancer slash medicine jewel 4 so instead of divine blessing 3 you're gonna have recovery up 3 which is going to be much better to be honest so that's pretty much it for the build guys now i'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration here in the training area so you can actually see what i'm talking about here so thank you for watching guys and now check this out
So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Monster Hunter Iceborne videos like that. So thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!